facing west on the trail. And the river is just like glass, except for where the currents are. A couple of fissures. Boy, it's not a Tom Thompson painting right there. Those few leaves. I still have to practice my fine branches and twigs and the actual shape of the tree. Apparently a tree is a statistical fractal, not an exact fractal. It's, um, it, its shape mimics itself um, from the major trunk to the branches, to the smaller branches, to the smaller and then to the uh, very end, the twigs. And I sometimes forget that and I... Look at that birch. Oh, I love birch. They actually have eyes. I mean, I don't believe in being looked at by a tree, but it, it's the uh, bark. I guess where branches are broken off as it grows. Here's looking behind. One thing on this trail, it's okay to look behind you. It's okay to keep looking back. The same beauty surrounds you, no matter which way you look. And the way this trail is built, I mean, you can see the silhouettes of buildings, but they're not intrusive. And most of the buildings around here are older and they kind of have that nice nestly look to them, nestled in their little spot, which is nice. Here a tree fall down. The watch or I'll fall down. There's a lot of um, branches and roots sticking up. I have to be careful. Also not to uh, bash my bad leg. Boy, that hurts. No matter what kind of footwear I'm wearing. But enough complaining on a beautiful day. And I'm sure you can tell by the number of uploads to YouTube that this is my second home when I'm here. I love Bracebridge too. And this is what keeps me coming back. Ideally, I'd like to spend six months of the year here and six months of the year somewhere else, Toronto, London, even Barrie or North Bay. My heart will always belong to Scarborough. It'll always be a borough in my heart. It's now part of the uh, of Toronto, the greater Toronto area, but that's okay, that's a great place too. Many a happy hour in Toronto when I was a kid, and still do. I mean, I know summer is it's green and beautiful and lush and everybody comes alive in the summer. Well, most people, I shouldn't say everybody, but most people come alive. 
and the fall is spectacular. The colors are just breathtaking, but I love this time of year the best. The earth is winding down. I'm not into Mother Nature or Gaia, but I mean, obviously there are rhythms and circadians and I do believe in an intelligent being, God. He's all. This keeps me believing in a creator. Not that I really doubt. I don't understand evolution. Every leaf here, every tree, every creature was delicately and exquisitely made by the hand of God. I can't believe any other way. I don't know how. 